nobody really should need this video but I figured that I would record it just in case so if you do need this video I am sorry today we are going to be replacing the crank seal on my 2014 Mazda 6 2.5 NA because if you see the last video I did on this is that my super team belt broke wrapped around the crank pulley somehow or another got to the back side of the crank pulley and I guess as it was rotating it pulled the crank seal out and it didn't look all messed up I kind of tapped it back on there a little bit but it still drips oil and if I drive it hard it slings oil so that's why I have a new crank seal um, they did not have the crank seal installation tool but they did have a 20 oh no a 39 millimeter uh, axle nut socket which just so happens to be the exact size we need for the crank seal so I normally will just remove the entire uh, fender liner so I just go through and just remove all the clips so I can get to that clip that clip and the clip that is behind there and then the crank pulley will be right here so with the end of fender liner off and that bottom plate you can see the crank pulley right there as well as the super team pedal the air compressor and then the stretch the fill belt going to the water pump so now we have both belts off you can see my serpentine uh, belt replacement and tensioner belt replacement video for the tips and tricks on how to get those on and off crank pulley there and the bolt is a 21 millimeter And most importantly, this is a keyed crank. It has a key way on it, cut into it. And the key way will always line up with the key that's on the crank. What I'm hoping the culprit of my oil leak is, is the seal itself. And it looks a little wet around there. So I'm thinking my culprit is right. All right, and here we go. The old crank seal is out, so let's get the new one in. And of course here we have the old crank seal, and then here we have the new crank seal. It is absolutely the perfect size, so this should go on nice and easy and straight. So we're just gonna lube it up, hand put it on the crank, take our hammer and just gently tap it on until the outside is flush we are going to take the crank seal and just gently just place it in here and then take our socket and our hammer and just try to get it on there as even as possible don't have a whole lot of room and stuff but So we got the new 
uh, crank seal oil seal in so now I'm just going to reverse the process you just line them up crank bolt put it in like I said that Mazda recommends the crank bolt be torqued down to 70 foot pounds me I just put my M18 on the first setting which is 125 foot pounds so put it on setting one and And that's how I do it. So do whatever you do at your own risk, not because I told you to. I'm going to get the belts put back on. You can look at my video that I did on uh, replacing the drive belt, the tensioner belt, and the tensioner. So everything is back on. Water pump belt, the shelter fit belt, serpentine belt everything is on alignment everything is looking good everything is in the grooves like it's supposed to be so now i'm going to start it up let it run make sure no oil is slinging everywhere and then we should be good to go nobody really should need this video but i figured that i would record it just in case so if you do need this video i am sorry but at least you have a reference to see what you need to do so that you can determine if you want to do it yourself or if you want to send it to a shop or a friend or whoever to do it for you. So I hope this helps. Uh, the part number for the uh, seal is MZP, E is an Edward 01 dash one zero dash six zero two and i got this off of amazon it is a genuine a genuine mazda part and i'll also put the link that i bought it from, from amazon in the description below so hopefully you won't need this video but if you do here you go so until next time think build enjoy peace